Hey, Exotic fan. Thanks so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly love and appreciate y'all. So we're going to go ahead and get in with my Birgie Bergs. Okay, Virgo. So let's go ahead and tap in and find out what is the overall energy for today. Holy Spirit, my divine, my guardian angel, St. Michael, those that walk with me on the highest pairs of light. I only open any and all doors to the highest pairs of light. Close any and all doors to anything else. And look at this, Holy Spirit, I call upon you to please protect me as I tap into the 5D. Protect my loved ones and my high vibrating collective as we tap in for clarity, Holy Spirit. Block and blind any wickedness, witchcraft, evil eye that has been sent towards me. This channel, my beautiful high vibrating collective and my loved ones and their loved ones, Holy Spirit. Reverse it and may all evilness and dark magic and evil eye go blind holy spirit reverse it back to the original sender and all affiliated times 10 thank you okay whoa look at that virgos that just <laughs> flew out end of this month virgos okay so by the end of this month so i am getting so we are already at the end of this month okay so that is very, very significant. So we have timing will be perfect. Precision, unique, fragile detail. Pay attention to the details, Virgos, okay? Sorry for my glare. So we're gonna go ahead and see what else. There may be something that you're needing to pay attention and it may be um, having to deal with a fragile situation or subject. But I'll totally spare it for my Virgos, please. Something around this next spring or something from this spring that just passed may be of significance, okay? So I have things are beginning to bloom. New beginnings, rebirth, growth. The answer lies in newness. Beautiful, Virgo. So I am also getting next spring is very significant. Okay, too many cards, Holy Spirit. One more, Holy Spirit, please. One more for my beautiful collective Virgos, Holy Spirit. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, Vir my Virgie Virgs. Peace and thank you. I have a ship has sailed. So something um, has sailed already. I am getting that you guys have intuitively, you guys have closed out a karmic cycle. And maybe someone from your past or some type of karmic energy, just the ship has sailed with them trying to mess with you is what I'm getting. The opportunity has already passed. Too late. No second chances. Over. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. So go ahead and go within, Virgos. There is something, an opportunity that is going to present itself. Make sure you go ahead and jump on it before the opportunity passes you by, okay? And then next I have the Aquarius season, okay? So you are also maybe dealing with an Aquarius or you may have Aquarius somewhere aspected in your chart. You are ahead of time, eccentric, detached, and individuality. Make good decisions based on social good, okay? So whatever you're doing, make sure it's for the overall goodness of your heart and it is for um, getting for humanity. So something you guys are probably wanting to, some type of project, maybe wanting to help, I'm hearing, wanting to help the homeless maybe, something about that, some type of project or something that you're wanting to execute. It's not too late, my Virgie Virgs, okay? So with that little beautiful dove, I am getting your angels are with you. You're never too late for your destiny. Slow to act, hope and expectation. Take your time, choose wisely, Virgie Virgs, okay? So your angels, your spirit guides, they're wanting to let you know it's never too late. So whatever it is that you're wanting to do, go for it, okay? Beautiful energy. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have any day now, okay? Today, tomorrow, or the next. Manifest instant positive vibrations. Conditions for growth are optimal. That is awesome, Virgos. Look at that. Because you guys are highly abundant and you are manifesting all that your heart desires. And I am getting that the galaxy, the universe, whomever that you have prayed to, they are on your side, okay? That is beautiful energy, Virgie Birds. We're going to go ahead and clear this energy, Virgies, and get with the tarot. Let's see what messages we have. I hope everyone is doing great thus far. 
I had to take a few days off, just like everyone else. It's always important to get some time for yourself. There we go, something about that. I know that we tend to be meticulous and we tend to work too much, too hard. We tend to be workaholics. Bottom of the deck, look at that, Virgos. Nine of Pentacles, my love, that's you. You're a go-getter, you're independent. You're in this high vibrating light. You are the Nine of Pentacles, one pentacle away from your 10th of Pentacles, okay? And Holy Spirit says that's the truth. I am getting you guys are right now going through some serious transformation. You guys are also in this Empress, Emperor energy, male or female, flip the gender roles, okay? Just remember that I read for energy. Energy can also be flipped, okay? Just keep in mind, my lovelies, that this is a general collective reading. Take what resonates with behind the rest, okay? Okay, Holy Spirit, what else about my beautiful Virgo birds? We have two of swords. So right off the bat, what I am getting that there is someone around your energy, a hater that has been trying to block your intuition or has been wanting to keep you at a stalemate. But I mean that you guys have overcame that. Now you guys are able to create balance into your life with the two of pentacles. What else, Holy Spirit, please and thank you for my beautiful Virgos. What else from my beautiful Virgo birds, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. There is overall a tower moment, Virgos, okay? So there is going to be some sort of upheaval or some sort of drastic change that is coming next. Clarify the tower card, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What is this tower card? Tower moment's going to come down for this three of pentacles. I am getting a group collaboration. It could be a coven. It could be just any type of group. But I am getting some type of karmic group. Maybe a karmic group has tried to join forces to take down one person. I am hearing that as well. Clarify those three of pentacles, Holy Spirit. You're going to get some fast movement, okay? Fast messages is coming are coming through to you. You guys are, I'm hearing, full speed ahead. Eight of Wands for my beautiful Virgos, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Yep. Someone's coming in, always stalking your energy, Virgos, with the Page of Swords. So you do have a stalker, of course, always, right? Remember that haters are secretly your fans. <laughs> Clarify the Page of Swords, Holy Spirit. Who's stalking my Virgos? Oh, look at this. We have the King of Cups. Maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, doesn't have to be. I have the Three of Cups, so I'm saying it, the power of three. Three of Cups, Three of Pentacles, so there is some type of collaboration or group. I am getting some type of group is stalking you, but it's going to come to an F end with the Death card. You guys, I'm getting a lot of Scorpio as well in this reading. You guys may be dealing with the Scorpio, or you may have Scorpio somewhere else, but did in your chart. Or I'm getting this could be this karmic group. So whatever it is, it has come to an end. Which is leaving these people at the five of pentacles. And I can't make this shit up. Look at that. The world card. You guys have successfully closed out a cycle like I have said previously. You guys had called judgment up on um, hearing these stalkers, these gang stalkers. What else, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What else from my beautiful Virgie Bird? You have left these people at the Nine of Wands. They are right now like a wounded warrior. They are not happy. You guys had called judgment. I am hearing justices in your favor. You have closed out a cycle successfully. Can't make this up with the Hierophant, the uppers. So you may be dealing with a Taurus. That doesn't have to be, but I am getting some type of conglomerate. I am getting um, someone up in the spiritual realm, okay? Could be a priest, a high priest. Can't make this shit up. Five of Wands, wanting to come and compete with you. I'm here and compete where they can't compare. Five of Wands, Holy Spirit with my beautiful Virgos. Fighting and competing regarding some type of job offer or some type of lucrative offer. 
or on the surprise that you guys may be getting. Clarify the Page of Pentacles from Virgos, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Yep. Regarding an offer from a King of Swords, you may be dealing with a Gemini or an Aquarius, or you guys may have Gemini or Aquarius or Libra somewhere aspected in your chart. Doesn't have to be. Take what resonates deep behind what does not. King of Swords, Holy Spirit. You guys are very strong right now. You are in your power with the strength card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or you guys may be dealing with a Leo as well. Strength card, Holy Spirit. Clarify the strength card. Yep, you guys are in your strength. You guys are going to get good news with the Page of Wands, Virgos. That's beautiful. I'm hearing just because you stood your ground to this evil, whatever, BS, karmic group, this little witchy dark coven, you stood your ground, you spoke your truth with the king of swords as well. So you guys are very strong in your power. And just because of that, I am getting the most high. The universe is going to go ahead and grant you your wish. Wish or wishes. Page of Wands, what's the good news? Holy Spirit, peace and thank you. Which is going to leave someone and this group at the five of cups so whatever good news that's coming towards you virgos these people do know they have been stalking you um here and they may have even um done a divination on you some way somehow could be also of tarot or any other way but whoever it is someone is highly in their feelings because you're going to get good news clarify the five of cups thank you yeah they're at the Five of Cups because right now they're at the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So no matter what, I'm hearing this Karmic Coven keep saying, I keep seeing Coven Karmic, uh, karmic Group. They have put in a lot of work and effort to take you down, Virgos, but it has not worked out to their success, okay? They are very in their feelings right now. Who's in their feelings with the Eight of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? The tyrant, knight of swords in reverse. Okay, you guys may be dealing with a low vibrational uh, air sign as well. Clarify the knight of swords, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Who is this that's so pissed off in their feelings? Thank you. No, they're pissed off in their feelings. I'm hearing because I'm hearing that the karmic wheel has turned. So for all the BS that this person or this karmic group has been trying to create, I'm hearing chaos and conflict into your life, guess what? The wheel is now turned. So the wheel is in your favor. Meanwhile, these people are going to get bad luck and bad karma 10 times fold is what I'm hearing. Wheel of fortune in reverse, Holy Spirit, please. This person, it could be regarding your future with the two of wands, okay? As you see this guy that is looking out into the future, there may be even a decision that you may have to make. Or it could be regarding a decision that they have already done. Two of wands, yep. Which has left them at the hangman position. They have gained some sort of enlightenment. I'm hearing they have under, they just realized finally that they are stuck like Chuck. Hey man, in reverse, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. With the sun card, they have realized that you are in your purpose, Virgos. For my high vibrating Virgos that are on their path, they are realizing that you are nothing to be messed with. God don't play when it comes to you. You are getting, I'm hearing unconditional happiness with the sun card. And I'm also hearing something has come out to light. Something has been illuminated. The sun card, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. I said it. Wish fulfillment with the nine of cups, Virgos. That's beautiful. You guys have a lot of major cards here that's coming out. Nine of cups. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Which is going to leave these people at the ten of swords. These people are at the Ten of Swords because no matter what they have tried to do to come against you, my Virgie Virgs, you're always going to get your wish fulfillment. The world, 
no matter what, you guys have put in a lot of good seeds and you are going to reap the good benefits. Ten of Swords. Who's going to be at this Ten of Swords? Bitter baby mama. I had the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay. It could be some type of mother figure or it could be your mother or it could be a mother-in-law um, or it could be your husband's ex, baby mother, or vice versa, whatever, flip the gender roles. You guys know where you stand, but I am hearing a bitter baby mother is going to be at the Ten of Swords. Sorry. Yep. So she is right now at the Four of Cups. She is unhappy. She is just pissed off. She's just disappointed because whatever offerings that she has made, to the universe, to the most high, to her, I'm hearing to her spirit guides, whatever she has even done, it did not take, they did not take the offer. And this person is just in their feelings. That's what you get. That's what your ass gets. I mean, why do you gotta be a bitter bitch? Excuse me. I'm sorry y'all, but I'm here to be keeping it real. I'm here to keep it real. You can't be in this low vibrational state and expect good things to come to you. You can't, it's just, Law of attraction, it doesn't work that way. All because the universe is in your favor. You guys are going to get equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles, no matter what, Virgos. You guys are the star, okay? You may have Aquarius somewhere aspected in your chart, or you may be dealing with an, an Aquarius. I'm hearing you guys are in the limelight. You guys are meant to shine bright, just to quote Rihanna, Shine bright like a diamond, okay? It's your birthright. You guys are getting a huge blessing from the most high, from the divine, okay? That is your birthright, Virgos, okay? Come through, spirit. That is beautiful. You guys have the star, the ace of pentacles, the sun. I mean, you guys have beautiful energy. And I said it. You guys are manifesting right now. With the magician card, everything that you want, everything you've hoped, prayed for, is going to come to you with the magician card. All because you guys took a leap of faith with the full card, okay? You guys walk by faith, not by sight. And that is why Holy Spirit is going to be granting you with your Ten of Cups. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I'm going to drop the mic right there because that is beautiful energy. I'm the real spirit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get what's the tea. Let's get some, let's find out what's going on with this bitter ass baby mama or in their karmic little friends, their little groupy asses. There's always, hate is gonna hate, right? They're always gonna hate. Remember, when you come up, that means that they're gonna be going down and that's exactly what is happening right now. They're coming down as you are coming up, okay? Make sure you stay humble, fam, and you always, always count your blessings, okay? Because just remember, just like God and the Most High gave you your gifts, they can take it away. Something about that. Now, as soon as I, excuse me, cut the deck, I have Kissing Ass and Creativity Muncher. Creativity Muncher and Kissing Ass. Yeah, that's exactly what this karmic is going to have to do. Exactly. And that's exactly what you guys are, that's the mood you guys are in. You're basically telling this karmic, you can kiss my ass. Good for you. Because you know what? I don't blame you. I feel that way too. So we're going to go ahead and tap in. Bottom of the deck, we have played out. So this karmic baby mama, bitter, whatever karmic group, they're played out, okay? Because they're always talking shit. They have nothing else better to do. Meanwhile, they are crying over you, sad, upset, hurt, etc. And I'm hearing they are so in their feelings because they could not take you down. How pathetic is that? This karmic is fake flexing. Pretend that they have all the money in the world. This person probably I'm hearing is in debt. Credit card bill debt of the ass from always constantly spending money on materialistic things instead of um, hearing, instead of prioritizing their responsibilities. Woo! Here is on that ass. Yeah. Here we go. Because this group 
This karmic has been trying to get an inside scoop on you in your life, fam. I'm here. They need to. They're and they're being nosy all up in your business. I'm here. They need to worry about this little tower that's about to hit in their ass. What else, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. That's why this person feels rejected. They are currently being rejected. They're rejecting. They're being rejected by the Most High. They are being rejected by in the spirit team, in the spirit world. I'm hearing for even trying for so many times that they have tried to conjure up bad shit towards you. What else, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Waiting. Karmic is waiting to see maybe if their spell worked work. Nope. No, it didn't. That's why you're actually getting bad karma. Karmics are chipping over you, fam. Of course, why not? You guys have beautiful blessings that are coming in your way. And they have tried so hard to try to take your gifts from you. And it's like, it's not going to work. Exactly. Because you're too busy waiting, fam. And I'm going to go ahead and let that there. Let's go ahead and close out with a chill as fuck message. Pay the piper and move on. Drop and give me zen. Exactly. That's exactly what you guys are, are freaking doing. And the pay the piper, that's what these karmics can do. It's time. It, their time is up. Like what it's saying, waiting with the time. Their time is up. I'm here. Whatever negative toxic thing that they have conjured, it's time to reap what they have sown. It's time to pay the piper. What else, Holy Spirit, please and thank you for my Virgos. What else for Virgos, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Activate pure mantra. The power of meow. <laughs> Super cute. Activate pure mantra, my lovely. So go ahead and just meditate and zen. If you have a kitty, go ahead and cuddle with your kitty. What else, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Too chill, try a nice cube. To become more fluid, add wine. <laughs> so that is so cute. So what I am getting with that is it's time to relax, Virgi Virgs. Unwind, let your hair down, kick your feet up, drink some wine. When I was just saying that, it was 2 2 2 in the clock earlier. So that is a confirmation. You guys, it's time to have fun, okay? That is beautiful. One more. We're going to go ahead and do the angel message. I haven't done these in a while. I love these angel oracle cards. What messages, Holy Spirit, for my beautiful collective Virgi Virgs do we have? You have positive expectations, Virgo. So beautiful expectations lie ahead within the end of this month. Okay. Or going into the end of next month of July. Stand your ground. No matter what. And that is exactly what you guys did. I'm hearing you guys stood your ground towards this freaking low vibrational shit. And now you guys are going to go ahead and I'm hearing it's time to celebrate. No matter what obstacles or any stagnation or I'm hearing any BS act, uh, energies that come towards you, make sure you stand your ground. But I'll tell the Spirit, peace and thank you. Like I said, it's time to laugh, Fergie Bergs. Time to go have fun, okay? Tap into your inner child, my lovelies, because you guys are raising your standards. You guys have evolved like the beautiful butterfly that you truly are. That is so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that there, my loves. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I love you guys so much. Take care. Bye-bye.